Hi there, it's Ken. Welcome to another new episode of my travel videos. This is a fly drive trip to Porto and Santiago de Compostela. Let's start with a glass of champagne before the flight. Cheers. Right, ready to take off. As the flight got near Porto, I could see the many bridges spanning across River Duro, including the famous Dom Luis I bridge. So, just arrived at Porto, and it's a sunny Thursday afternoon. It's already 7.15 p.m. However, the sun is not going to set for another hour or so. Everything is beautifully lit. The first place, which is just uh, near the hotel, is Say Cathedral. It's not very busy now, which is nice. Not many tourists. So near the cathedral, there is a mini obelisk. On it is a sign, that's the sign for Camino de Santiago. And the arrows pointing north towards Santiago de Compostela. Tomorrow we're gonna drive there. So dinner is at this restaurant, Casa Vertuda. They have a balcony outside and it has a beautiful sunset view of River Duro. Down there, you can see there are lots of people having a drink, enjoying the sunshine on this nice Thursday evening. The next morning, it was time to take the metro back to Porto Airport to rent a car from Avis. The plan was to drive to Santiago de Compostela. But first, let's drive to a nice Portuguese town called Viana do Castelo to spend the money. So, we've got to Viana do Castelo, a beautiful city with an amazing waterfront. After taking the funicular, we arrive at Monte de Santa Luzia. Here, you will find the main reason to visit this town, the Centuario de Santa Luzia, the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Let's see what inside the century. Wow. It's beautiful, rose window. Okay, let's climb to the top of the tower. Oh, finally. Oh, wow. So, at the top of the tower, the view is absolutely amazing here.
After visiting the sanctuary, it's time to take the funicular down to the town center and waterfront. From here, you could see the sanctuary at the top of the hill. This is the ship Gillings. It used to be a hospital ship, but is now a museum and youth hostel. This is the waterfront of Vienna do Castello. And here is the monument of 25th of April. After lunch, it's time to continue the drive to Spain. After 45 minutes drive, we have arrived at the Spain-Portugal border. From here, another 75 minutes drive will take us to the first attraction, Ponte Mercero. So, after a long drive, arrive in Spain and the first attraction is Ponte Mercero. There is a nice waterfall here. And this is definitely part of the Camino de Santiago. Remember the sign? And this is uh, the bridge, Ponte Macera. It's an old Roman bridge. Time to get back behind the wheels again. Another hour's drive will finally take us to the lighthouse of Finisterre. Finisterre means end of the world or end of the land in Spanish. And here is the zero km mark of the Camino de Santiago. And here he is Faro de Finisterre. There seems to be a Scotman paying a bad pipe. Actually, I found out later that Galicians, they, they play bagpipes as well, not just Scots. So, after driving a lot of hours today, we finally arrived at Santiago de Compostela and the cathedral. It's now 9.15pm, but the sun hasn't set yet and it's really beautiful now. Stunning. Galicians like to sing. We just saw this band singing at Praza do Obradoro after dinner, and the crowd joined in soon afterwards, all knowing the lyrics. It's been a long day, and we'll end the video here. Stay tuned for the next episode where we'll visit the cathedral and drive back to Portugal afterwards to visit more places. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.